Hi there, we're Team Danchel. I'm Dan. And I'm Michel. And this is our first broadcast on our new YouTube channel. We hope you'll follow us. Today, we would like to talk to you about the issue of handicap parking. Uh, I myself have a handicap. I don't look like it. I don't have a cane. I don't use a wheelchair. Uh, I've had a lot of knee surgeries and as a result walk with a very pronounced limp uh, and I'm in constant pain. So recently uh, I had a couple of articles published in the local media here um, which highlighted my struggles with being handicapped and the perceptions around that. Someone left a note in the window of my vehicle while I was parked in a local business and it, to the gist of it said basically you look normal, suck it up, um, you know, stop, stop taking spaces from other people was kind of their argument and I was really offended by that. So, you know, I just wanted to bring to light that this is a problem with a lot of people. Um, feedback I got once the story was online was that a lot of people face the same things. Just because you don't look disabled doesn't mean you're not. Absolutely. Uh, also, sometimes too, when we do park in handicapped spots, and I notice this a lot, um, we'll, I'll get stares, especially if I get out of the vehicle first because I don't have a disability. He is driving. Uh, you'll have people give me those stares like, you're far too young to be parking in a handicapped spot. You know, if there is no age limitation to those that have a disability or some functionality of their body that they can't move like you and I who don't have those, those things affecting us. So uh, it's a little harsh. Um, you know, don't judge the book by the cover that you see because you don't know the story of the people that you're looking at. They could have a lot going on and you have absolutely no idea. Um, and as I mentioned, there was a couple of articles. One was on the CBC here in Canada, uh, locally in Nova Scotia, and then one was in the Metro paper. Um, and two different takes on the story, I reported to two different reporters, and, and they said the gist of it was, as I said, that um, just because you don't look disabled, just because you don't walk with a cane, a walker, um, just because you're not hunched over or you're gray-haired, does not mean you do not hide a disability. The feedback I got were from people with uh, MS, people who have had back injuries, hip injuries, um, like myself, had knee injuries, people who were born with congenitive defects. Um, so, you know, when you see someone walking down the street, don't assume that they're in perfect shape. You don't know anything about a person. And I, I, the one thing I said to the reporters was, you would never go up to a person with a mental illness and say, why are you crying? Suck it up. You'd never go up to someone with cancer and go, why'd you all your hair fall out? What's wrong with you? Do you have something wrong with you? You just wouldn't say that. So why is it okay to say this to someone with a disability? Don't judge people was kind of the, the, the whole thing I want to discuss with this. Absolutely. And I mean, from what we saw in the feedback, especially on Facebook with friends, etc., uh, and from the articles, I mean, there are a few that did share other incidences from people who lived in other areas of the country who had the same thing happen to them, uh, to the point where not even just a note, um, things that are stuck so much onto their windshield that they can't take it off until they get home so they have to drive with that which is an embarrassment because you don't know what this person is going through and why they've, why they've parked there and you know what sure I have seen in the past those that drive someone else's vehicle with a pass abuse the parking area I have seen that and I've known of a few people who've done that in in my lifetime um, and that of course it's going to shed a bad light on the rest of those that really need and have to use those handicap passes and don't visually look like they do have the, the disability. Yeah, so, so here's what you can do if you're watching this video. First of all, you can share this video and bring uh, to light that this is an issue for people that they, like I said, they don't look disabled, they very well may be. Um, the other thing you can do is if you see someone parking in a handicapped spot and they don't look handicapped, you don't necessarily have to question them. If they don't have a pass, however, it would be great if you could go up to them and say, hey, why are you parking in the handicapped spot? Do you need this spot? Because they are for people like myself or people who are far worse off than myself that need the spots that rely on the spots to get around. Um, and while talking about this, another thing that came up in the feedback was people said, well, if you can park at the mall, a handicapped spot, and walk around the mall for three hours, you must be fine. Yet not so much. So we need that extra push to get to the door. I don't necessarily go to the mall and walk for three hours. If I do, I have to take a break. I have to sit down for 20 minutes and just rest my leg. I can't do a three hour walk anymore, unfortunately. And I'm not looking for your sympathy. That's not what I'm here for to do. I don't, I don't care about that. I know there are people who are far worse off than me. What I'm looking for is awareness. To see if you, if you have a handicap pass, if someone in your family has a handicap pass and they're not with you in the vehicle, don't park in the spot. 
show the courtesy to other people who need it, because someday you might be the person who needs it. Absolutely, because we did also hear of an individual who was made a comment to uh, by using a handicap pass and looked fine, and her comment to the individual itself was, can you see my cancer? Yeah. So this person really did need uh, the handicap pass. And on our letter note, one of the feedbacks I got was, if someone challenged you on the fact that you don't look handicapped, you could reply to them and say, well, you don't look like an imbecile, but clearly looks are receiving. So you, know, you could use that line too. So we'd love to hear your comments, your suggestions, your feedback on this. Our email is flashing behind us on the screen. It's teamdanchel at gmail.com. And we'd love to hear your feedback on this. If you have something to say, please keep it positive. Please keep it polite. We will not tolerate negative feedback, and we will not tolerate hatred. So we'd love to hear from you, and uh, that's it. That's right. Let's be kind. Be kind to one another, as Alan says. All right. Thank you, everybody. Team Dantel out.